The rise in polymer handguns has led to a new development known as the modular pistol. Now, in the firearms world, modular is the buzzword for adaptable or modifiable, and modular pistols have the unique advantage of being able to swap parts to fit different roles or different users. Instead of buying a compact pistol for concealed carry and a full size for open carry, a single modular pistol can become either with uh, the simple switching of parts. Now, in this video, we use federal 9mm ammo, but we really didn't do any accuracy or malfunction testing, so instead, we'll just compare their traits so you have a better understanding on which one might be the best for you. Well, here they are. I know this isn't exactly what you expected to see, but technically these are the pistols. They have different names depending on the manufacturer, uh, proprietary names like the Fire Control Unit from SIG or the Central Operating Group from Springfield, but these trigger mechanisms are the only serialized part of the firearm. That means you can buy this do the background check once and then buy separate barrels and slides and grip modules without asking permission from the government every single time. When you want to go from full size to compact, simply remove the trigger mechanism and swap parts in minutes. And now that we understand that concept, let's go ahead and like the smash button, subscribe. And we'll see how the P320, the Springfield Echelon, and the Beretta APX A1 compare. The SIG P320 is the platform that won the modular handgun system contract for the U.S. Army, which is known as the M17. Now, without a doubt, it has the most aftermarket options available from barrels to grip modules to even different replacement triggers. Not only does SIG offer these, but so do numerous other manufacturers as well. And at the same time, the Flux Raider, the Strike Modular Chassis, both integrate the P320 and convert it into something way more capable than a simple handgun. Gun. The Optics Ready Slide is popular enough that a few optics have been specifically designed uh, to mount it directly without needing an adapter plate like this Holosun SCS320. It comes in at an MSRP of $649. The Springfield Echelon is the newest in the modular handgun lineup, and because of that, it has the least amount of aftermarket options. Now, Springfield does currently offer three different size grip modules, and only thing it changes is the grip circumference. This means you don't really have the option to go from full size to compact, but I bet that won't really be the case for very long. What the Echelon does have is the most robust optics mounting system available. They call it the Variable Interface System, and it allows users to mount over 30 different optics directly to the slide without an adapter plate. These are all optics that can be direct mounted, so pause this if you want to look for yours specifically. Now, all that being said, the Echelon is slightly more expensive than the P320, sitting at an MSRP of $679. The Beretta APX A1 is somewhere in between the P320 and the Echelon when it comes to aftermarket support. It doesn't have as much as the P320, but it does have much more than the Echelon. The APX also happens to be significantly cheaper than the other two options. And uh, online, I couldn't find an answer as to whether or not you could take the trigger mechanism from a full-size APX A1 and put it in the APX A1 compact. So we called Beretta and they confirmed that you absolutely can do that. So big bonus points. The slide is optics ready. However, you will need to buy an adapter plate from Beretta for your specific red dot footprint. For an MSRP of $499, you get an optics ready modular handgun with aftermarket options and quality construction. Based on the stats that I'm aware of, the best value has to go to the APX. It's significantly less expensive than the other two options and still provides a wealth of features and modular capability. Now, I think the Echelon deserves the most potential award for being fully ambidextrous, having an incredible optics mounting system, the controls, the grip texture, the grip size, all contribute to efficiency of operation, making it incredibly comfortable for most shooters and gives it a lot of potential for added features in the future. Finally, the most modular award goes to the SIG P320. The volume of aftermarket options for this gun makes it a clear choice here, and so do the chassis systems like the Flux or the SMC. So I hope this information can help you make a more informed decision, and whatever decision you make, just know we carry everything your guns need, from ammunition to magazines to the optics that'll ride on top. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for shopping with Gun Mag Warehouse. Stay free.